కృపా వార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము ఉగ్రత రాత్ దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటీయుడి రోమేలకు రాసిన పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము పంతొమ్మిదవ వచనం గివ్ ప్లేస్ టు ద రాత్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ రోమన్స్ ట్వెల్వ్ వర్స్ నైన్టీన్ రోమిలకు రాసిన పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము పంతొమ్మిదవ వచనం గివ్ ప్లేస్ టు ద 
wrath of God. Romans 12 verse 19 Ade Ade Aroju Gare Pilla Ugrata Rojo Yedin Las Ramala Rojo Bhumi Sagankale Rojo Ade Ade Aroju Gare Pilla Ugrata Rojo Papulanta eche rojo Homisagankale rojo Tallijada bidda kuleka Bidda jada tallikileka Chetu kokaru putta kokare Anadhale arache rojo Ade Ade Arojo Yesai Ogreta Rojo Papulanta Eche Rojo Bhumi Sagankale Rojo Dhana Mochochi Daga Padakuma Bala Mochochi Bhanga Padakuma Dhana Mochochi Daga Padakuma Bala Mochochi Bhanga Padakuma Ade Ade Arojo Gorre Pilla Ugrata Rojo Edin Las Ramala Rojo Papulanta Eche Rojo Arojo Stramala Nundi Tapinchena Dhurundado Aro Jusramala Nundi Tapinchena Dhurundado Ograta Rat Deuni Ogratako Choti Yudi Romeleko Rasana Patrika Pananava Dhyamu Pantamadava Vachana. Give place to the wrath of God. Romans chapter twelve verse nineteen. Isuvarta Moya Bardun Vakyame Karuagono. Yes, Rajuga Vacho Chunado Bolo Kamanta Teleso Contaro Yes, Rajuga Vacho Chunado Bolo Kamanta Teleso Contaro Ravi Koti Te Judo Ramya Maina De Udo Ravi Koti Te Judo Ramya Maina De Udo Rara Juga Vacho Chunado Rara Juga Vacho Chunado Yes, Rajuga Vacho Chunado Bolo Kamanta Teleso Contaro Yes, Rajuga Vacho Chunado Bolo Kamanta Teleso Contaro Way and low will a pie so Raja Melo no Way and low will a pie so Raja Melo no Hilo Karaja Lani Ayana Yelo no Neeti Santi Vardilo no Nyaya Mekana Bardo no Neeti Santi Vardilo no Nyaya me kanabardu no Yesu rajga vacho chunnadu Bho loka mantha teleso kontaru Ravi koti te judu ramya maina devudu Ravi koti te judu ramya maina devudu Ra rajga vacho chunnadu 
రాజుగావచుచున్నాడు లోకమంతాశ్రమకాలం విడువబడుట బహుఘోరం లోకమంతాశ్రమకాలం విడువబడుట బహుఘోరం యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు ఈ లోక దేవతలన్నీ ఆయన ముందరా సాగిలపడి నమస్కరించి గడగడలాడును ఈ లోక దేవతలన్నీ ఆయన ముందరా సాగిలపడి నమస్కరించి గడగడలాడును వంగనే మో కాళ్ళన్నీ యసయ ఎదుట వంగిపోవును వంగనే మో కాళ్ళన్నీ యసయ ఎదుట వంగిపోవును యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు వెయ్యేండ్లు ఇలపై యసు రాజ్యమేలును ఈ లోక రాజ్యాలన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును వెయ్యేండ్లు ఇలపై యసు రాజ్యమేలును ఈ లోక రాజ్యాలన్నీ ఆయన ఏలును నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలను న్యాయమే కనబడును నీతి శాంతి వర్ధిలను న్యాయమే కనబడును యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రవి కోటి తేజుడు రమ్యమైన దేవుడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు రారాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు యసు రాజుగా వచ్చుచున్నాడు భో లోకమంతా తెలుసుకుంటారు ఉగ్రత రాత్ దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటియుడి రోమేలకు రాసిన పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము పంతొమ్మిదవ వచనం గివ్ ప్లేస్ టు ద రాత్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ రోమన్స్ చాప్టర్ ట్వెల్వ్ వర్స్ నైన్టీన్ మీకు మీరే ప్రతీకారము చేయకుడి దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటియుడి ప్రతీకారము చేయవాడను నేనే ప్రతిఫలం ఇచ్చేవాడను నేనే అని ప్రభు చెప్పుచు ఉన్నాడు డు నాట్ అవెంజ్ ఫర్ యువర్ సెల్ గివ్ ప్లేస్ టు ద రాత్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ వెంజన్స్ ఈజ్ మైన్ ఐ విల్ రీపే సేస్ ద లాట్ it is impossible for god to do injustice because justice and righteousness are the pillars of the throne of god god of heaven god of earth the god that made heaven and earth the lord of hosts is enthroned on justice and righteousness these are the two pillars on which the throne of the lord is established neeti nyayamulu aina simhasanamunaku aadharamulu neeti nyayamu aina simhasanamunaku aadharam justice and righteousness 
are the pillars on which the throne of the Lord Most High is established. Have you seen the throne of the Lord Most High? Have you experienced the closeness of the throne of the Lord Most High? By the way, where is the throne of the Lord? Akasamo and Asmahasanamo, heavens are the throne of the Lord. The heavens, the sky is the throne of the Lord on which the Lord is enthroned. The sky, the heavens, the sun, the moon, the stars, all of the creation, almost all of the creation in perfect silence is declaring the glory of God, declaring the presence of God. Day after day, day after day, day after day, we see sunrise and sunset in silence. Is everything out of rhythm, out of cycle? The cycle of sunrise and sunset is continuing because God has destined it so. God has commanded the sun to be so. The sun, the stars, the moon, the earth, the celestial objects, the balls that are continuously rotating and revolving are in continuous motion are all obeying the laws of God, obeying the commandments of God. It is very dangerous to fall into the hands of the Lord Most High. It is very dangerous to fall in the hands of the living God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Jyumgala Devani Chetula Paduta Bahu Bhayankaramo Devani Yandu Bhai Bhaktulu Kaligi Intra Jnanamana Kamolamo All around us we see myriad of problems, multitude of problems. What is the reason for the problems all around us? It is simply absence of fear of God absence of faith in God. Those that fear God, those that believe in God will not sin, will not create problem, will not be the originators of the problem. Rather, they will contribute to the solutions of the problems. They will solve the problems around them, those that love God, those that fear God, those that obey God. Unfortunately, those that fear God are so little in comparison to those that do not believe in the existence of God. They have a form of godliness, yet they do not fear God, they do not honor God as God, they attribute godliness to the objects after their own imagination. They attribute godliness to lifeless objects. They attribute godliness to nature. They have a form of godliness, yet they will not rely, they will not depend on the power of faith in God. Bhakti yoka shakti meda adhara padana twenty varga. Okay, with high net twenty bhakti kaligandiyo, bhakti yoka shakti meda. ఆధార పడనటువంటి వారిగా అంత్య దినములలో మనుష్యులు అందరూ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ టైమ్స్ పీపుల్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ ఫార్మ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్లీనెస్ బట్ దే విల్ నెవర్ రిలై డిపెండ్ ఆన్ ద పవర్ ఆఫ్ హ్యావింగ్ ఫెయిత్ ఇన్ గాడ్ ఉగ్రత రాత్ దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటియుడి మీకు మీరే ప్రతీకారము చేయకుడి దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటియుడి ప్రతీకారము చేయవాడను నేనే ప్రతిఫలం ఇచ్చేవాడను నేనే అని ప్రభు చెప్తున్నాడు రోమిలకు రాసిన పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము పంతొమ్మిదవ వచనం డు నాట్ అవెంజ్ ఫర్ yourself give place to the wrath of god 
वेंजेंस इज माइन आई विल रीपे से द लॉर्ड रोमन्स ट्वेल्व वर्स नाइनटीन फॉर ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट वी सी ऑल अराउंड एज द रीजन इज lack of faith in the presence of god in the existence of god in the power of god in the sovereign reign of god that is the reason why we see so much lawlessness we see so much injustice all around us it is not new this has happened in the past and it is repeating history repeats itself the planet earth we are reading the last chronicles of planet earth the planet is fast heading to destruction where is justice where is love where is the fear of god where is faith in god has humanity ever seen so many masks to hide their faces from whom you are hiding can you hide yourself from god on the day of the wrath of god many will say to mountains many will say to rocks many will say to great boulders fall on us cover us shield us from the wrath of the lamb of god shield us protect us from the wrath of the lamb of god the first coming of jesus christ is like the lamb of god the first advent of jesus christ into the ad- courts of human history to give grace forgiveness of sins and establish relationship between man and god is like the servant is like the ambassador is like the lamb of god the second coming of god jesus christ as church is at hand oh outdated story we have been hearing this story for decades centuries have passed ever since jesus christ was nailed to the cross we are hearing this story that jesus will return to the planet earth and land on mount olives as the church and there will be a valley the valley of jehoshaphat and there will be a valley the place of judgment near the holy mounts wherein the king jesus christ as the shepherd separates sheep from goat so easily so quickly jesus christ when he comes as the judge as the king separates the godly from the ungodly those that fear god those that are saved by believing in jesus christ and that have mended their ways that have turned from evil that have turned from wickedness that have turned from corruption will all be on the right hand side of the king the church jesus christ and those that were left are all goats they do not have the heart repentant heart the heart that is converted the heart that is changed the heart that is converted by faith in jesus christ they are still goats not following the shepherd going in their own way choosing their own way living in their own way causing so much affliction causing so much suffering causing so much violence causing so much injustice loving money loving wealth living with vengeance living with hatred living with jealous what not and all these people majority or on the left hand side of jesus christ and the judge will pass the judgment it will not take much time for jesus christ to pass the judgment because already the time has been given many centuries have been given isn't it 
ever since the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, ever since the resurrection of Jesus Christ, how many decades have passed, how many centuries have passed? Nearly 20 centuries have passed, isn't it? Is 20 centuries a less time for humanity? Even though it's very less time in the sight of God. A thousand years is like yesterday in the sight of God. 20 centuries, 2000 years is just two days in the sight of God. So, as many are thinking that the return of Jesus Christ is delayed, it is not so. It is not delayed. It is because God desires that each man turn away from his wicked ways and be saved from the forthcoming wrath of God. It is very, very dangerous and difficult to fall in the hand of the living God. On the day of the wrath of God, even if the three righteous people in the history of all the humanity, Noah, Job and Daniel were to stand before me and intercede for forgiveness. I will not forgive the evil people that have never repented, that have never turned from their wickedness, from their lying lips, from their violence from their corruption, from their love for wealth, greed for wealth, from their jealous, from their hatred, doing so much evil to their neighbor, doing so much violence to the weak and the oppressed and the disarmed people. It's not an ordinary statement. Thus says the Lord of hosts. Thus says the God of heaven. Thus says the God of heaven and earth. Thus says the Lord Most High, even if the three righteous people throughout the course of human history, namely Noah, Job and Daniel, were to stand before me interceding, pleading for the forgiveness of sins of any of these people that were condemned, that were denied forgiveness, that were condemned, that were denied grace, I will not give them grace. I will not give them pardon. I will not give them forgiveness because 2000 years is no less time. 5000 messages is no less number. For the past three and a half years, the preacher has been preaching, 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 preaching. 15 months of joblessness ever since the preacher has returned from Korea with a zero SBA balance. Which of the preachers for the, by the way, have zero SBA balance? So many bishops, so many pastors, so many designations, so many funds, so many vehicles, two wheelers, four wheelers, helicopters, flights in their name. మీ దేహం మీద ఉన్నటువంటి బంగారము యొక్క తుప్పు మీ మీద సాక్ష్యము పలుకుచున్నది జేమ్స్ చాప్టర్ ఫైవ్ యాకోబు పత్రిక ఐదవ అధ్యాయము ద డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఎండ్ డేస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎక్యుములేటెడ్ వెల్త్ ద రెస్ట్ ద రెస్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆన్ ద గోల్డ్ ఇన్ యువర్ ఆన్ యువర్ బాడీ ఈస్ టెస్టిఫైంగ్ your wickedness me me the sakshim palukuchu so much gold so much precious stones so much wealth so many fields so many land so many apartments so many four wheelers who oh, within the church within the believer community within the christians forget about the 90% non believers forget about the 90% of hindus muslims jains buddhists belonging to different other faiths what about the 10% of christians are they true to the savior are they fearing god are they doing justice are they calling a spade a spade are they testifying regarding the truth no then should god be lenient should god be kind should god be gracious i will not give my grace even if noah Job, Daniel, 
these three righteous people all through the course of human history were to appear before me and stand before me on the day of wrath of God and intercede for forgiveness of any of their neighbors, any of their relatives, any of their close ones. Only they themselves will be saved and they will not be able to save any one. Oh, my wife, Lord, have mercy on uh, my wife, you know. Have you not seen all the 56 Sundays, all the uh, Sundays in the year? Without fail, I have attended your church. Without fail, I have offered the tithes. Without fail, I have followed your commandments. Because of me, will you not show pity? Because of me, will you not show compassion? Because of me, will you not show kindness? Forgive my wife, forgive my children, forgive my mother, forgive my father. Who is my mother? Who is my father? Those that do the will of my father is my mother, is my father. All these relationships, even the relationship of marriage will not be extended to heaven for the kind information. Nati charami, nati charami, nati charami. Even until death separates, we will not leave one another. These are the pseudo promises with lying lips. Pseudo groom and pseudo bride make such commitments before the altar, before the Lord Most High. But in reality, these promises will not be holding good. If the wife were to be diagnosed with a dreadful sickness, the husband will be nowhere. If the husband will be accused with so many false acquisitions, the wife will be no more, nowhere. The wife will betray the husband. Husband will sell the wife almost for nothing. No wonder these are the days of Noah. These are the days of Lord. These things are destined to happen. Paul has so clearly written to his disciple Th Timothy. Timothy, in the last days, perilous times will come. Father and mother will submit their own children to death. Children will hand over their parents for death. Children will disown their parents. Parents will disown their children. No love, no relationship. These are the last days. No thankfulness, no gratitude. Do we see thankfulness anywhere? Do we see faithfulness anywhere? Can the employee trust the employer? Can the employer trust the employee? Can the wife trust the husband? Can the husband trust the wife? నీ కౌగిటిలో ఉన్నటువంటి నీ భార్య ఎదుట నీ పెదవులకు నీ పెదవుల ద్వారమునకు చిక్కం పెట్టుకొనము హ్యావ్ గాడ్ ఆన్ యువర్ మౌత్ వెన్ యూ లే డౌన్ విత్ యువర్ సో కాల్డ్ సూడో వైఫ్ కెన్ ఏ హస్బెండ్ ఓపెన్ హిస్ హార్ట్ అండ్ స్పీక్ టు ద సూడో వైఫ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ బెడ్రూమ్ ఈవెన్ ఆన్ ద బెడ్ ఆల్ ద కాన్వర్సేషన్ విల్ బి పబ్లిసైజ్డ్ ఇన్ బీబీసి దీస్ ఆర్ ద మ్యారిటల్ రిలేషన్షిప్స్ these are the privacies we are talking of no privacy between the marital relationships even ni kaogitlo pandukonna atvanti ni bharya eduta yodda ni notiki chikkamu pettukonamo how god on your lips when you lay down with your wife even even with your wife if you cannot open your mouth if you cannot express your heart how difficult it is these days how much god you should have on your lips you will be sold almost for nothing nothing will be kept as a secret so be on your own guard do not be loose tongued even wife is not trustworthy this is what the message magala maganalu mikkeli vilugala pranamunu vetaadanu maganalu mikkeli vilugala pranamunu vetaadanu the so called pseudo wives will hunt the most precious life. So, take heed. Have God on your lips when you lay down with your pseudo-wife. These pseudo-wives are not trustworthy, not reliable. They will sell you for almost nothing. By the way, how Samson ended up in his life? Who asked Samson to go to Delilah? Samson's mother and father are so... Clear. 
Samson, you are not an ordinary person. You are not an ordinary person. You do not know the secret behind your birth. The angel of the Lord Most High appeared to your mother and told that uh, your mother will be conceived and uh, will be giving birth to a son and we have to name the son as Samson. All the days when uh, your mother is pregnant, she is not allowed to drink strong drinks, even wine, because you are anointed of the Lord. You are separated. You are nazired for the Lord. You are set apart for the Holy God Most High. This is the secret of your birth. So you cannot marry anyone and everyone. Take heed, listen to us. Do not go with your own choices in your marriage. Listen to us. Did Samson heed? Uh, Samson did not listen to his mother. Samson did not listen to his father. Married. What, what has happened? Disaster, separation, humiliation. The chosen things of God will have honor when they are in their right place. If Samson were to be listening and heeding to his mother and father in the marital issue, he would not have been humiliated by his father-in-law so much. Mistake. Again, Samson committed the same mistake. Belonging to the tribe of Dan, residing near Benabarak, Ramat Lehi. Again, Samson committed the same mistake by going to a very, very dangerous woman. That is after the life of Samson. Samson, what is the secret of your strength? Should you reveal the secret things? Should you reveal the things of God? Should you not have God on your lips? Have God on your lips before the woman when you lie down with, even with you, when you lie down with the woman, you should not open your lips and reveal the secrets. The woman is with a death trap, with all kinds of traps, so dangerous women we see all around us. This is the second mistake Samson, belonging to the tribe of Dan, born with a specific purpose to save Israelites from the hand of enemy, committed the mistake, adultery with a dangerous woman that is after the life of Samson. Samson, what is the secret of your strength? Samson was so vexed by this bad woman, Delilah, to the point of death. What for I should live? Should I live anymore? Should I live any longer? Maganalu mikkili vilugala pranamanu vetadano. This woman has hunted the life of Samson. Hunter, 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 chopper, 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 beggar, 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 shouter, 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 dancer, 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 freezer, freezer, freezer. This wicked woman sold the chosen vessel of God, Samson, for almost nothing. If Samson were to be in the right place, if Samson were to walk in the path that is destined for him by the Lord Most High, such wrath of God would not have fallen on Samson. Why at all you have to go to such bad woman? You have gone. Why did you not take the caution? Why did you not take heed? Why did you reveal the secret? Why are you vexed to the point of... Uh, Committing suicide, why are you exit to the point of death? Okay, that woman is harassing you. Separate yourself, do not go there. Knowing fully well that woman is after your life, should you go to that woman again and again and sleep in her lap? Samson, tell me your secret. You are not loving me. Vesi yoka matalo. Tenikante nunupu. A prostitute is a deep hole, hell hole. No one that falls into that hell hole will ever come up. Be on your own guard. 
Why at all you have to go to such a bad woman? How much precious life! Are you an ordinary person? Are you not the chosen vessel of God? Are you not the anointed one? Are you not the mighty one? Are you not the strongest among all the Israelites? Are you are you not belong? Doesn't you belong to the tribe of Dan? That's trying to judge people. That's trying to do justice to Israelites. How come you could do injustice and suffer injustice? Dan will judge my people. Dan is destined to judge the people of Israel. To such a high esteem, God destined that Samson to be to judge the people of Israel belonging to the tribe of Dan. But what is the end? A disaster. 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 The eyes of uh, Samson were removed. Was made a laughing stock in the temple of idols in blindness in humiliation having lost everything having lost all the strength this is my secret my secret is in my hair if my hair is cut off my strength will go my son heed to my advice beware beware of such adulterous women should you go to delila should you be vexed to the point of death should you reveal the secret things of god should you reveal the strength the source of strength anyways samson was a vexed to the point of death what will happen let them cut my hair anyway i wish to die rather than being tortured by this adulterous woman so much torture so much violence vicharanai 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 investigation 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 rogue people have deputed this rogue to take away the life of samson be on your own guard history repeats itself do not think that you are the chosen vessel of god and you have immunity do not think that you are the anointed one you are the nazirite a wicked woman is sufficient in the book of pilgrims progress there is a, an adulterous woman always putting her uh, fingers in the purse with money tempting the poor christian showing money follow me i will give you money follow me i gi- i give you pleasures of this world follow me i will give you the temporal pressure pleasures saying no is uh, not sufficient you have to turn away and run saying no to drugs is not sufficient you have to turn away and run rat ugrata devuni ugrata ko choti yudi romel ko rasna patrika 12th adhyayam 19th vachanam give place to the rat of god జీవముగల దేవుని చేతిలో పాటుట బహు భయంకరము దేవుడు ఎవరు అన్న సత్యము తెలుసుకోనటువంటి స్థితిలోనికి అయోమయ స్థితిలోనికి అగమ్య గోచరమైనటువంటి స్థితిలోనికి అబద్ధంలోనికి దుష్టుడైనటువంటి మానవులకు దేవునికి శత్రువైనటువంటి సాతానుడు మానవుల్ని నడిపించి వేశాడు ఈ చెట్టే దేవుడు ఈ పుట్టే దేవుడు ఈ పామే దేవుడు ఈ కోతే దేవుడు ఈ సూర్యుడే దేవుడు చంద్రుడే దేవుడు నక్షత్రాలే దేవుడు ఇక దేవుడు కానిది ఎవరు చెప్పండి వివేకం ఉన్నదా బీవేర్ బీ ఆన్ యువర్ ఓన్ గాడ్ యువర్ ఎనిమీ ఈస్ రోనింగ్ లైక్ ఎ లైన్ హోమ్ టు డే అవర్ హోమ్ టు డెస్ట్రాయ్ సేటన్ విల్ లైన్ టు యూ అండ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్ గాడ్లీనెస్ టు ఎనీథింగ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అండ్ టేక్ యూ అవే ఫ్రమ్ ద ట్రూ గాడ్ అండ్ ద ట్రూ గాడ్ ఈస్ జీసస్ క్రైస్ట్ true god is yahweh the self existing god the god that has revealed himself to abraham the god of israel the god of abraham the god of jacob oh the god of israel is a foreign god i am not an israelite i am not a jew i am neither a jew i am nor a israelite my faith is different i belong to hindu religion i belong to muslim faith i belong to jain faith i belong to buddhist faith i am an indian i am chinese na jongwan 
आणि जेव्हा वेन आय वो जेव्हा वेन आय एम चायनीज सो मेनी डिव्हिजन्स सो मेनी डिव्हिजन्स डज इन मॅटर व्हॉट एव्हर मे बी युअर नॅशनॅलिटी व्हॉट एव्हर मे बी युअर एथनिसिटी व्हॉट एव्हर मे बी युअर खाला वी आर ऑल मेड बाय गॉड इन हिज इमेज डोंट वी हॅव इज इट नॉट अ वंडर इस्रायलाइट्स विल हॅव फोर आईज इंडियन्स विल हॅव ओनली टू आईज द कलर ऑफ इस्रायलाइट्स इज व्हाईट अँड द कलर ऑफ इंडियन्स इज रेड इज देर एनी डिस्टिंक्शन इन द characteristics of the blood is there any distinction in the makeup of man then why do we have such distinctions oh god of israel oh jesus christ foreign god i have my own theology i have my own mythology i have own my own language i have my own dialect i have my own borders father to that heaven of freedom let my country awake where the mind is fear free from fear where the mind is free from fear where knowledge is free where the narrow domestic walls will not exist narrow domestic walls who is the god that made us by the way who has given his life for you who has given you life saving saving blood on the cross he is the god no doubt గొడ్డుబోద్దానికి పిల్లనిప్పులు ఎట్లా తెలుస్తాయి సవితల్లి పరాయ బిడ్డలను తన సొంత బిడ్డగా చూస్తుందా విగ్రహం అని చెప్పి మొక్కుతాము పాము దేవుడు కోతి దేవుడు సూర్యుడు దేవుడు చంద్రుడు దేవుడు పంది దేవుడు కుక్క దేవుడు మరి దేవుడు కాని దేవరు కోపమే వస్తుంది కదా మా తల్లిదండ్రులు మాకు ఇట్లా బోధించారు మా పితృలు మాకు ఇట్లా బోధించారు మాకెవరు ఇట్లా చెప్పలేదే వారికే తెలియదు వారే త్రోవ తప్పిపోయినారు చేతి పటములు రాళ్ళు మను మనకు దైవములు కానిరవు ఆత్మతో సత్యముతో ఆరాధింతు మన దేవుని నీతో పోల్చుటకు సర్వేస ఎవరు లేరు ప్రకాశ స్థుతి పాడుటకు ఏసునాథ చాలవు పది వేల నాలు కలు నశించును వెండి బంగారము లోకమాయలు గతించునవే విలువైనది స్థిరమైనది ధుని కృపవరమే రాత్ ఉగ్రత ప్రియులారా మీకు మీరే దేవునికి ప్రతీకారము చేయకుడి దేవుని ఉగ్రతకు చోటియుడి ప్రతీకారము చేయట నా పని ప్రతిఫలం ఇచ్చేవాడను నేనే రోమిలకు రాసిన పత్రిక పన్నెండవ అధ్యాయము పంతొమ్మిదవ వచ్చినము beloved do not avenge for yourself give place to the wrath of god vengeance is mine i will repay romans 12 verse 19 all around us don't we see so much injustice so much corruption so much violence so much lack of love <clears throat> oh where is corruption where is injustice i do not see your eyes are blinded for your kind information the preacher goes around <coughs> the city of chennai all things that are invisible to all others are only visible to the preacher everywhere he sees the problem and informs to the greater chennai corporation by writing to the special officer by writing to the mla by writing to the mp by writing to the greater chennai corporation commissioner in a single mail by putting cc just to bring the problem to the notice of the rulers <clears throat> the rulers have many things to attend on the administrators have many problems to solve in their services to the citizens at least they should be made aware that such in such and such a place there is a problem there is a danger which need to be 
corrected for which need to be attended when all other eyes are blinded the preacher eyes are open to such problems this place is dangerous there is a threat here there is a threat to the lives of people there may be flooding there may be over flooding in this place before the flooding before the cyclone before the rains the preacher warns the preacher alerts this is the responsibility of the preacher this is the responsibility of the evangelist if the faithful people were to be there earth will become heaven that's what edward mckenry bounds the teacher of the bible says what all the people in power cannot do even the american president may be not able to do can be done by a simple person that kneels down before the sovereign lord and prays for the problems not only the preacher finds the problems not only the preacher sees the problems and sends the messages emails to the concerned officials rather he prays for such problems to be solved for the needed resources for the needed strength to manage our own problems itself is difficult how much more difficult for the rulers for the administrators everyone has only 24 hours out of the 24 hours 12 hours is already gone out of the 12 hours of daytime 6 hours is gone for eating drinking taking care of ourselves taking care of our children what can we sir what can we do if you walk in light you will not stumble oh i have fallen my back is broken oh i have fallen my leg is broken oh my canvas is hindered if you walk in daylight you will not fall if you listen to counselors why at all your canvas will be hindered if you listen to proper counselors why at all the helicopter crash will occur if you are just if you are god fearing if you do what is good why at all you face so many problems god will deliver the righteous even though they fall for seven times the rulers need the protection of god the heart of the king is like streams of water in the hands of the sovereign lord so the people that are being governed should learn to pray for the rulers that their heart is directed towards what is good for the the if the rulers were to have sickness the people need to pray for the healing of the rulers the people have to pray for the wisdom of the rulers so that they have so that they will dwell in peace and safety even those people that are with resources that are with riches that are with good health that are with power those things that could not be accomplished by them can be accomplished by a simple person that kneels down before the sovereign lord and prays at the feet of the lord this is the power of the prayer that's what the preacher has been doing what did nehemiah do by the way nehemiah prayed to god of heaven god jerusalem is in destruction the walls of jerusalem are broken why wrath of god all jews 70 years exile to babylon to slavery wrath of god because of the wicked king manasseh there is no other king as wicked as manasseh that has shed innocent blood all through jerusalem because of the wickedness of manasseh because of the violence of manasseh god has no heart to forgive i have no heart to forgive the innocent blood that was shed by manasseh so my wrath is destined my wrath is destined for 70 days for 70 years all jews to be taken by the king of babylon what an agony achata mana sitaralu nirvanju chettiku tagilinchi dukkaramu cheyichuntume we have kept all our harps on the tree and we were in grief in sorrow sing forth for us one of the songs of zion ma koraku ka siyonu geetamulo oka geetamu paadudi siyonu geetamulo oka geetamu ma koraku paadi vinipinchudi manalanu charagoni poyina tuvanti varu siyonu paatalalo oka paata paadi vinipinchamani manamalanu adiginappudu manamu dukkaramu cheyichuntime mana sitaralu nirvanju chetlaku tagilinchi aa bagalonu nadula odduna eechuchu untime mauning saaro egoni on the banks of river babylon we were mourning on the banks of river babylon why why you have to mourn 
why you have to be sorrowful why you have to be ego in agony in grief why you have to be in a slavery once again 400 years of slavery in Egypt is it not sufficient to you 70 years of slavery in Babylon is it not sufficient to you you should require more wrath of God for shedding innocent blood for selling innocent blood almost for nothing may his blood be on us in raktam oi parishuddhi raktam maamedra ma bedra medra ondane odi let the blood of jesus christ be on us what is the consequence wrath of god is awaiting siyonu geetamalalo oka geetam ma korku paadi vinipinchudi ani బబులోని దేశస్థులు మనల్ని అడిగినప్పుడు మనము బబులోను నదుల తీరము ఎదుట దుఃఖరాము చేయించుటిమి మన సితారాలు నిరవంజ చెట్లకు తగిలించుటిమి సెవెంటీ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎగోని సెవెంటీ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్సైల్ ఫ్రమ్ హోమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ప్రామిస్డ్ ల్యాండ్ దిస్ ప్రామిస్డ్ ల్యాండ్ ఈజ్ నో ఆర్డినరీ ల్యాండ్ ద ప్రీచ్ హిమ్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈస్ ద లివింగ్ టెస్టిమొనీ ఆఫ్ ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఫ్లోయింగ్ విత్ మిల్క్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఫ్లోయింగ్ విత్ హానీ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద ల్యాండ్ విత్ మాచ్ surplus of mineral resources surplus of much fuel underneath this is no ordinary land this is the land good in the sight of god not in the sight of man oh i am a renowned scientist you know we are geologists you know we are great geologists even the things that are hidden to the greatest of the geologists is so clearly seen by god from the rocks of that land you will get కాపర్ సో మచ్ కాపర్ ఆ దేశపు రాతుల నుండి రాగిని తీవచ్చునో సో మచ్ మినరల్ వెల్ సో మచ్ సర్ప్లస్ అబండెన్స్ రిచెస్ ఆర్ హిడన్ అండర్ నీ తిన్ ఇస్రాయల్ కానా దిస్ ఈస్ ద ల్యాండ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ టు యూ అబ్రహాం టు యువర్ సీ టు యువర్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు గివ్ యాజ్ పర్మనెంట్ ఇన్హెరిటెన్స్ God will never ever change his covenant. God has fulfilled the promise that was given to Abraham. Though undeserving, the preacher lands in Israel in response to his prayers. This is what the preacher is telling. The power of prayer, the weapon of prayer. Praying and praying men. Praying men and praying women. Pray. So many books on prayer. Voluminous works by Edward McHenry Bounds. all through the life of edward mckenry bounds for seven decades edward mckenry bounds served the lord consistently every day by 4 o'clock as the clock sounds four rings 4 o'clock em bounds is on his knees praying what a consistency what a disciplined christian life practicing the word of god as he preached to such a faithful person to such a praying man alas what a poverty what a poverty write so many beautiful manuscripts but there is no one to recognize no one to publish no publisher was willing to publish the works of edward mckenry bounds as long as em bounds was alive but edward mckenry bounds believed in his prayers and was so sure that God is hearing his prayers so sure that his prayers are everlasting and will resonate in the universe even after his passing away what is the faith of edward mckenry bounds by the way em bounds has written in one of the prefaces of his books that i am very sure one day god will rise up a man that will publish all my manuscripts all my books indeed after the passing away of edward mckenry bounds his faith has become sight his faith has become sight to many believers the preacher was astonished to see the preface in one of the books because there so many books on the single subject called prayer em bounds has written prayer and praying men the weapon of prayer and the list goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 even 15 books on such subject called prayer unless you pray how can you talk of prayer He abounds is such a person that lived on knee, on his knees 4 o'clock as the clock sounds 4 
ഈ എമൗണ്ട്സ് വാസ് ഓൺ ഹിസ് നീസ് സൺഡേ മൺഡേ ട്യൂസ്ഡേ വെൻസ്ഡേ തേസ്ഡേ ഫ്രൈഡേ ജാനുവരി ഫെബ്രുവരി മാർച്ച് ഏപ്രിൽ മാ മെയ് ജൂൺ ജൂലൈ ആഗസ്റ്റ് സെപ്റ്റംബർ ഒക്ടോബർ നവംബർ ഡിസംബർ നോ മാറ്റർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ സീസൺ നോ മാറ്റർ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദം ഓ ഇറ്റ് സോ കോൾഡ് ടെറിഫിക് കോൾഡ് ഐ മീൻ കൊറിയ ഐ കെ നോട്ട് വേക്ക് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് യു നോ ഐ മീൻ ചൈന ഐ കെ നോട്ട് വേക്ക് അപ്പ് ഓൾ ഇൻ ദ മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് പ്രേ ഈ എമൗണ്ട്സ് ഈസ് അബോ ദ സീസൺസ് ഈസ് അബോ ദ മന്ത്സ് ഈസ് അബോ ദ ഡേസ് ഈസ് അബോ ദ ടൈം കൺസിസ്റ്റൻ്റ്ലി for seven decades he served the lord and he died on his knees praying what a wonderful life what a wonderful life where are such praying men praying mothers are at a premium praying mothers get prophets like samuel where are such praying men and women where are such praying preachers where are such praying evangelists the fallacy of today's uh, christianity is the pulpit and the prayer closet never hear each other the pulpit and the prayer closet of a christian are too far that none will hear each other neither the closet will hear the pulpit not the pulpit will hear the closet fortunately the preacher has no pulpit outside no designation no affiliation so his prayer closet is his pulpit so both are heard so loud and clear so much grass is grown on the way of the prayer closet this is the sad state of efforts in the christian life and that is why the globe is running fast ahead to the wrath of god even if job even if daniel even if no what to stand before me i will not give my grace to this wicked people destined to wrath such a wrath is awaiting <laughs> wrath what is the wrath sulfur burning coals will be falling upon you then you will know what wrath is the days of the wrath of god the days of the return of the lord will be there like the days of noah will be like the days of loth what has happened by the way in the days of loth what has happened to the wife of uh, the diplomat so much teaching so much teaching you should never turn back madam what has happened to this madam i will turn back well turn back whole of the un is behind me whole of the rope professors are behind me whole of the peripheria intelligence is behind me will it save you from turning into the pillar of salt Loth's wife turned back. What is the consequence? Loth is spared, but not his wife. This is what exactly God is telling. Even if Noah Job and Daniel were to stand before me and plead for their pseudo-relatives, pseudo-relatives, I will not give my grace. I will not have heart to forgive. my wrath will be poured down upon them on that day there will be no grace 2000 years of grace is it not sufficient should you require more repent call is paid as paid stop filing false fiars stop blocking the way of the blind do not be a stumbling block to the blind mend your ways if you want me to come with a stick i will come with you with a stick what do you want you have many preachers but you do not have many fathers mend your ways the message is loud and clear to the church if you want me to come with a stick well i will come with a stick you know you have many preachers you have peter you have myself you have many other preachers but you do not have many fathers no so mend your ways may the lord grant the fear of god to the audience so that they will mend their ways and be saved from the impending wrath of god in the name of my lord and savior jesus christ i pray amen